um, they just passed us right now, asked, asking us if we were okay, if we had, you know, supplies, water, that type of thing. And we're fortunately, my husband and I are okay. Like, I have a son that lives in town. Mm -hmm. And he can, um, like, if my husband can cross the water, which I don't think you're supposed to, but he's got hip waders. So if he can walk across the water, through the water, my son, um, we can meet my son, like, on um, Fraserburg, where, and with he can pick us up groceries and that kind of stuff. So we're going to do this first house here with the SAR team, okay, as a demo. And then after that, we're going to leapfrog each house. Luckily, I have some very lovely neighbors who will transport me over the flooded area. And uh, it's been, that's been lovely. It's been lovely that everyone's been kind of getting together and um, helping each other. I do feel quite badly, though, for a lot of my neighbors who have lost a lot. Canadian Army. I figured it'd be another week before the water goes down and, okay. you know. You've been sitting pretty then? Oh, well, I, I've yeah. been sitting still. Okay. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to go anywhere. Uh -huh. Oh, you don't want to, you don't want to. So I said, why, why uh, try to go up? For what reason? Okay. If the water, if you had uh, water that you couldn't get in or out, like you, you, you know, you might get it. What happens if you, uh, go off the road. It's wonderful. It's really wonderful having them here and knowing that at least you could flag someone down and say, hey, <laughs> I could use a bit of help here. So, but I know I've been very lucky. This is just a little bit inconvenient in comparison to what other people have to deal with.